Hello everyone. So I finally tried Elden Ring. I mean, how could I not? It is rated one of the best games of all time. I always see it on the first page of Steam charts, and that is after two years, even before the release of the DLC. Naturally, I had to try, but I did my research. I did some homework before buying the game. I wanted to know how difficult is this game. Is it something that I'll be able to actually play and move forward? And based on many comments on Reddit, the general consensus is that this game is considered an introduction to Souls-like games, or the easiest of all the Souls-like games. In retrospect, I can say that that statement is a little bit misleading. I felt like I was taking on a hobby while playing this game. I never watched so many YouTube videos just to understand what is going on with this game. I mean, come on, look at this page. Look at look at all the stats that you have to know what is going on, and this is just a little part of it. Anyway, so here is my journey. I chose the samurai as my character. It seems like he has reasonable stats. And then I could see that it has a range weapon, a bow, and a melee weapon. So I thought that that is a pretty good balance. Plus, it looks kind of good compared to some of the other characters. So that's what I went with. We start the game, and right off the bat, I die. But it seems like that was part of the story, so it's okay. I died a couple of times in the tutorial. That should have sent me a message, but I was still okay. I was in for the long haul. And finally, I reached to Lingrave. I know this area from the YouTube videos. And I know not to fuck with the guy in the horse. And at this point, I'm just going around fingering some golden flames. And in one of those, this lady shows up and she gives me a little horsey. Which I have to admit, it took me way longer than I would like to figure out how to call the horse. But anyway, now I can explore faster. I went to a bunch of places. I met her. Who is she? She's kind of cute. She is not cute. Then I find myself going into a castle. Something tells me that I should not be here yet. There was a summoning. I didn't know what it was. But anyway, I just summoned an operator. Not too sure if it's a NPC or another player. And off we go. And it turns out, this is a boss fight. I gotta tell you, that character that I summoned was no use at all. It died really quick because I stood back and watched. And then I died. At this point, I was just sucking on my thumb. I knew that this was not gonna work. I need some hand holding. So I went back to YouTube. I searched for Elden Ring Guide for Beginners. I gotta say, none of those were basic enough because all those guides, even though they are set for beginners, they still go under the assumption that you know these type of games or that you play previous games from these developers. So they are not quite helpful for someone at my stage who has no clue whatsoever about any of these games and is just a complete dummy. And at that moment is when it occurred to me, I need to search for Elden Ring for dummies. And lo and behold, there are videos of Elden Ring for dummies. Big shout out to the lady who made these videos because they were very, very helpful. And after watching them, I finally understood what you have to do. So I went to a couple of caves, Killed some enemies, got me some loot, got beat up, gave up on a cave because I couldn't make it. And after a couple of hours of all of this, I still felt very defeated. I was not leveling up fast enough. I learned that I need to get runes. That is the main currency for you to level up your characters. So I went back onto YouTube and I searched for how to farm runes. I saw a bunch of videos, and there was one video that caught my attention. How to get your character OP in 30 minutes. 
I was like, yeah, I can do 30 minutes. Now, fuck my nipples. This took me more than two hours. But it's okay, because I was feeling confident. For the first time, I felt like I was making progress in the game. I was following all the steps, getting new items here and there, met a new friend, he didn't seem to care, but we beat an enemy together and I got me a new sword. After that, he basically told me to fuck off, but that's okay. I remember this moment for the both of us. Then I kill an innocent, harmless looking meatball for some blade magic. The next step was to kill this sleeping dragon, I guess. It didn't move at all whatsoever. It took me like 10 minutes of constantly hitting it. And finally, when it died, I saw over 90,000 runes showing up on my screen. At that point, I got really excited. I was hot and I thought, I gotta go level up really quick, use up all those rooms before I get all flaccid. At this point, I was overconfident. I thought, all right, let's go back to that first boss. Mar Marjorie? Marjorie? I don't know. I summoned the NPC again. I also summoned some wolves. Oh yeah, did I mention I also got some wolves? Anyway, I got all of that, but I knew something was wrong because why is my blade not on flames? And it's because I'm a complete moron. I didn't know how to equip all the stuff that I got from that tutorial. So I just went in only with the new sword equipped, but I was handicapped, as you can see from the little X on it, because I didn't have the strength to actually wield this sword. A complete moron. But in my defense, the video did not actually show all the things that you got and how to equip them. Because I guess they assumed you know you have to equip all those things, right? Well, I didn't. Anyway, the fight started, we all got beat up, and I died. I figured it out afterwards, and now we're going for round two. It was a tough fight, even with all the new weapons and items and buffs. But that is a player issue, not a game issue, because I didn't lock on the target, so I was slashing air most of the time. Anyway, even with all that handicap, I was still able to beat the boss with some help. At this point, I was feeling a little bit better, so I decided to just carry on. I was completely on my own, I was going in blind, because I didn't watch any videos about what to do after you kill that first boss. I reached the main castle gate. I talked to this NPC. He seemed very nice. He suggested that I should use the secret side entrance and he seemed a little bit trustworthy. So I did that after going through the main gate and getting fucked. And the next hour I spent dying and respawning back in this same location over and over again. So I decided to make the honorable decision to commit seppuku and just give up. 